Recently, I've noticed a lot of folks sharing their everyday carry pouch setups. And as someone who has never considered using a pouch, I got curious. So I hollered at Alpaca and I was all like, hey Alpaca. And Alpaca was like, yeah. And I was like, what's up with pouches? And Alpaca was like, bro, you don't even know. And so they were kind enough to send me their hub pouch to find out. I mean, as someone who once upon a time would consult abroad inside an active combat zone, I absolutely get why pouches are not just useful, but a necessity in military applications. But most of us aren't kitted out wearing molly webbed tack vests with anchor loops for pouches in the first place. But first, let's get some basics out of the way because there's no way I'm the only person who was completely ignorant to the world of everyday carry pouches. All EC pouches generally feature a full wrap zipper to enable complete opening and easy access to the contents. They also all feature specific interior organization options that typically include both pocket sleeves as well as sewn in elastic loops to maximize compatibility with anything you may want to store. The exterior is most often made of a ripstop fabric or thick canvas for peak durability, and many popular pouches feature a portion of the surface with the soft loop side of standard Velcro, specifically to decorate with patches that have the prickly hook side of Velcro on the backs of them. These patches are referred to most frequently as RE patches, short for ranger eye patches, but today also includes all sorts of super collectible designs with obsessive collectors, limited drops, and insane resale prices all on their own. So when it comes to these EDC pouches, where does my confusion really come from? It's all about what I perceived as the standalone nature of all of these cool pouch setups. As someone who hates pocket bulk, I couldn't imagine shoving one of these into my pockets daily, even if they'd technically fit. And as someone who uses sling bags frequently to avoid that pocket bulk, pouches just seemed redundant, since my sling both stores and organizes everything I would carry. And then I realized that I'm an actual ignorant idiot, as if the world just magically operates the same way as me. I mean, students have a backpack, but they might also have a gym bag and a weekend or hiking camping rucksack. Tradespeople have tool bags for the job site, laptop bags for the office, and most women I personally know have at least two, if not multiple purses and handbags for different scenarios, outings, and outfits. And so the pouch is probably the most logical solution for anyone that has multiple bags and carry situations. But one place a pouch would really come in handy for me is my car's glove box. I always have a multi-tool, flashlight, and a bunch of other just-in-case items that just rattle around loose in there. And a pouch would be a fantastic option for me to keep things organized in one place. I've got a multi-tool which lately has been the super compact SOG power pint, as well as a Swiss Army knife. I don't have a fixed blade or dedicated folder, since I always have one on me. And when it comes to emergencies and backups, I'm after maximizing usefulness per square inch. Light is always vital, and although I typically have this through night BSSW1 anchored to my car keys already, I definitely feel better with a backup torch. And I have this Fenex E12 version 2 in the glove box. The single most important consideration for me with a true emergency flashlight is that it uses regular, available anywhere batteries. In this case, a single AA. Most of my EDC flashlights use USB rechargeable batteries, which of course is more handy, sustainable, and typically enables greater output. But those aren't just readily available at say gas stations or convenience stores. So in a real pinch, if there's no mains power to recharge, I'd be out of luck. The Fenix E12 also has a double-sided clip. So anchoring it to the brim of my cap for hands-free illumination is another reason I've opted for it as my in-car emergency torch. And like everything in this video, I've linked it down in the description below in case you want to check it out for yourself. To round out the interior, I've got an extra AA battery for the torch, a small prying multi-tool, and as you can see, they all fit cleanly inside. I did want to share something unique about this particular pouch, and it lies in its name. It's called the Hub Pouch because it nests in Alpaca's hub ecosystem, which start with these strong and secure magnetically detachable ring housings. Whether it's just keys or anything else with any kind of loop, you can attach these magnetic ring enclosures onto them, and this Hub Pouch has this reinforced stitched loop that can be attached like this. When you get home, you can anchor all of your hub rings to this rail magnetically, giving you a single point, a hub if you will, so you know you're not forgetting anything when you do leave home. And when you head out, you can load out your belt or any of your bags, whether it's the exterior or interior, with the clips and have rapid access to your frequently used daily items. 
To me, there's a uniquely pouch-related core challenge when trying to make a purchasing decision. And ultimately, it's whether or not the pouch will actually fit the things we'd plan on carrying. For example, if I put this Leatherman Charge Plus TTI, this Olight Warrior Mini 2, my most frequently carried knife, the Benchmade M4 Bailout, and say, a chapstick, it all sits inside fine when open, but as you can see, it won't zip up all the way. With pouches, there's really no way to 100% know unless you get it in hand and test it out. But scouring social media and looking at how other people who already own the pouch you are interested in can also help a ton since you can see what they put inside and compare it to what you plan on putting inside yours. When it comes to Alpaca though, they offer this hub pouch that I've shared today, another hub pouch version with the loop side of Velcro, as well as a larger EDC pouch called the Utility Pouch. They've been kind enough to let me offer a full 15% discount site-wide using the coupon code MAURICEMOVES at checkout. As for me, this hub pouch will stay in the glove box of my car. But if you use a pouch, I'd love to know which one you use down in the comments below. Oh, and if you're looking for other ways to optimize your organization, you're definitely going to want to check out these videos right over here. I'm going to leave them on screen for a few seconds so you can choose which one to watch. But while you're deciding, if you like pizza, hit that like button. But if you love pizza, consider subscribing and hitting that bell so you'll be notified the moment new videos just like this one drop.